Ladies and gentlemen, is William Ruto funding the political activities of Maina Njenga in Mount Kenya? That is the biggest question that most Kenyans are currently asking. Because for those who follow the politics of this country very closely, Maina Njenga announced a mega political rally in Nyeri on the 31st day of December 2023. And immediately Maina Njenga made that announcement, Rigati Gashagwa took it personal and started plotting on how he was going to stop that activity. And indeed, on that particular day, over 200 Kikuyu youths were arrested in the name of Mungiki. And there's one thing that has also been disturbing my mind. And let me ask you this question before I go into that. Between Pauline Joroge and uh, Maina Njenga, who do you think or who should you trust with the information from Uhuru Mungiki Nyata? Because in all these activities, Maina Njenga has always maintained that he's working with Uhuru Kenyatta. In fact, he was very clear that Uhuru Kenyatta was going to be the chief guest. During that 31st December 2023 mega rally, Uhuru Kenyatta never appeared. But Pauline Joroge has always maintained that Uhuru Kenyatta is never part and parcel of Maina Njenga's political activities. Let me take you back and read for you some Facebook posts which Pauline Joroge made on the 22nd day of November 2023. This is what Pauline Joroge posted. I have been trying to understand why Maina Njenga keeps lying that Uru Kenyatta will attend his, his event on 31st December to pass the Mudigi or Kikutu leadership mantle to him. As I wrote here couples of weeks ago, Uhuru will not attend that event and is not in any communication or association with the planners. Despite numerous calls from various quarters to Maina Njenga to stop this narrative as it's not true, he has persisted. Which brings us to the question, what is his motive? Because it's clearly not a genuine one. Why can't he hold his event without dragging Uhuru name into it? Reliable sources have it that he is being funded by someone within government to create a certain perception about Azimio and mostly Uhuru. This is towards a bigger plan, a narrative that is being woven. Now from that post by, by Pauline Joroge, it is clear that Maina Njenga was not or is not working with Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta as far as his political activities are concerned. And Pauline Joroga in this post is also alleging that someone is sponsoring Maina Njenga. And in case that person is William Ruto, what are his political objectives? So in this video, I want us to talk about the possibility of William Ruto sponsoring the political activities of Maina Njenga in Mount Kenya. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. But before we dive in, allow me to also take this opportunity to thank the following people. You are seeing their names on the screen there for the coffee which they sent to me earlier today. I'm so grateful because it goes a long way in promoting this channel. In fact, this evening, I'm going to Riyadh area in uh, opposite airport to a place called the Ben Boss Place Resort owned by one of our subscribers here, Oguche Ben Bo, Janyakach. So in case you also get time, we can go and have one-on-one -on -one there. I'm, I'm actually supposed to be there between uh, three and five. Ladies and gentlemen, let us dive in. I want to begin this video by by bringing in a certain post, a post that was made on Facebook by a gentleman called Wahomi Thuku. Wahomi Thuku is one of the credible online users we have on the platform. So this is what, Maina, what Wahomi Thuku posted. Maina Njenga is William Ruto's project in Mount Kenya to contain DP. And the DP, Rigadi Gashagwa, has realized it. The response is to fight that miner. And since he can't do it directly, he cooks up a Mungiki narrative. It's all a war of proxies. It's that easy. 
So again, according to Homi Thuku, this war is sponsored by William Ruto. But there's a gentleman, Fata Nyuki Wakungu, one of Uru Kenyatta's guys online. He made an elaborate post, which is going to form the basis of his analysis, because in this video, I want to reveal to you guys the intention, the motive, why William Ruto, if indeed is sponsoring this, these activities, is doing it. Because in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. There is no way Maina Njenga can just wake up to start dragging Uru Kenyatta's name when the people close to Uru Kenyatta are saying Uru is not involved. When uh, events like the 131st, Uru is not part of it. There is no way. Of course, for me, I highly respect and value the chairman, Maina Njenga, and maybe he would be able to listen to this video and get me what his thoughts are. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what Fatu Anyuki is posting. You know? It's a bit long, so just bear. I want to just go over a button. Are you wondering why Maina Njenga nowadays is never arrested? Of course, even myself, I've been wondering. Because if you want to arrest Maina, arrest him, why go for those people? He conducts his activities in broad daylight in spite of the fact that he continues to attack the Shagwa, the person who would hold him in communicado for days just a few months ago. Yeah? He's attacking Rigadi. Nothing is happening. This is the guy who would send team to go and arrest Maina Njenga. That's a fact. Maina is nowadays a political lapdog in the peril of state house and the interior ministry. And that's how the system normally operates. Maina Njenga might not even be aware if indeed it's happening. After intelligence from the ground showed that the gamer community is increasingly gravitating back to retired President Ruru Kenyatta, state operatives seemingly devised an evil scheme to use one stone with Maina Njenga to kill two birds, that is Uhuru Kenyatta and Gashagwa, who has become ungovernable in Ruto's camp. So according to Fatanyuki, the whole intention is to destroy Uhuru, who is, who is gaining the ground, and Gashagwa, who is claiming the, to be the new kingpin and is proceeding. Maina Njenga's brief is simple. To always connect Uhuru Kenyatta to his political activities. The fact that he is a former Mugiki leader and he could fear Mugiki, they devised a plan to connect Uhuru to his sect. Again, if you listen to what, what uh, Pauline Jorogi was trying to say, Pauline Jorogi was also alleging that the idea is to link Uhuru to Mugiki. Maina has, has been coached by state operatives to be mentioning Uhuru Kenyatta's name like 10 times in his address, winking the public that Uhuru will hand over the mantle of the Gema political leadership to him. The truth is, Maina Jenga wants to become the Uyu kingpin. And is maintained that Uru Kenyatta is still the kingpin. Until that time, he will hand over the mantle to anybody. On the other hand, Maina Jenga's second brief is to continuously hit on Rigadi Gashagwa and for Rigashagwa as the persecutor of the Kiku youths. Gashagwa played into the hands of state house and interior operatives when police officers hand arrested hundreds of young men in Nyeri over the weekend who were to attend Maina Njenga's political event in Kabiroini, Nyeri. Maina Njenga should stop misusing Uru's name. He knows, his he knows who is financing and protecting him. We know they are envisaged endgame which will not materialize. In his 10 years as a president, Uhuru never supported him. Whew. That's a bit heavy on the part of the chairman. But because in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence, there's a possibility that William Ruto can actually fund the activities of Maina Njenga. Who knew that William Ruto was funding the activities of uh, Jimmy Wanjigi in Odia? Nobody. Who knew that William Ruto was funding the activities of, uh, of uh, the UD Secretary General, Clofas Malala, in Odia? Until Raila Odinga realized and kicked him out. So for me, if Ruto is doing that, his objectives are simple, clear. Number one, he wants to set up Rigadi against the Kikuyut. There's always been this talk that William Ruto is not keen on having Rigadi Gashagwa as his running mate. That is the fact. That he would want a situation where someone else is going to be his running mate. But Rigadi Gashagwa is not a pushover. 
So Rigeti Gashagwa has tried so hard to establish himself as the next Mount Kenya kingpin. So William Ruto is finding it very difficult to kick out Rigeti Gashagwa. So the best thing is to set him up against the Kiku youths. The truth is currently majority of Kiku youths are disappointed with the Kenya Kwanza. So if you provoke them, then they'll come for you. And that is William Ruto's strategy. Have Rigadi Gashagwa attack these guys. Have Rigadi Gashagwa do whatever he's doing. Then the youth will be dissatisfied. Arresting 25 Kiku youths is a big deal. Because the question, and I did a video on this. The question which most Kiku youths are now asking is when do Akiku youths become Mungiki? And when do they become hustlers? So that's number one. Number two, Ruto is keen on... Uh, Number two, William Ruto is keen on confining. Number two, William Ruto is also keen in confining. Number two, William Ruto's other strategy is to try and confine Rigadi Gashagwa to Kikui politics. That's why Rigadi Gashagwa is dealing with the issues of coffee. That's why Rigadi Gashagwa is dealing with the politics of tea. Why Rigadi Gashagwa is dealing with the politics of alcohol. That's why Rigadi Gashagwa is busy defending Kikuyus and securing for them jobs in government. That the politics of shareholding. William Ruto is keen on confining Rigadi to Kikuyu politics. While he's doing contrary to people like Didi Nyoro, who is now trying to rebrand himself, trying to go outside there, you see him with Osoro, you see him with Malala, you see you see Dindi Nyoro moving. So the truth is, Ruto wants to continue confining Rigadi Gashagwa to Mount Kenya politics. Number three, William Ruto is also keen on sustaining Uhuru Rigadi War. The truth of the matter is that the only reason why Ruto appointed Rigadi Gashagwa as his running mate was because Rigadi Gashaga was the only man with a steel or with a ball to fight Uru Kenyatta. Having worked with Uru Kenyatta, having worked as a deal, having worked with Kanu. So Ruto believed that Rigadi was the only person. And it was necessary at that time. But is Uru Kenyatta still necessary? So if it's necessary, then Ruto wants to get Uru out of his equation. He wants to confine that contest to Rigadi Gashaga. And that's why, according to these stories, Maina Jenga will continue dragging the name of Uru. Then Rigadi will be fighting Mungiki in the name of fighting Uru Kenyatta. Well, in real sense, Ruto is setting the toe up. Number three is the Mount Kenya kingpin. <laughs> you see, you can only lead a people if they support you. So Ruto is frustrating Rigadi Gashagwa's mission of becoming Mount Kenya kingpin. Because let's face it, if the Mount Kenya youths rebels today against Rigadi Gashagwa, who will he be leading? I don't know what you think. That's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.